I used to be so happy, but without you here, I feel so low. It's buried deep inside me, but I feel there's something you should know. What's up? I'm Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get this copper eyeshadow look using the Morphe 35O palette. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. So let's get started by priming our lids. I'm going to take Max Paint Bod Painterly and apply that to my entire lid using a flat brush. This is just going to help set the eyeshadow to make sure it's long wearing and lasts all day. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O palette and we're going to basically set the primer using the first shadow which is a white matte shadow and apply it with a flat brush onto our entire eyelid. This is just going to set the primer to make sure the eyeshadow doesn't smear and get all over the place. Now we're ready to get started with the crease and I'm going to take the Sigma Taper Blending E35 brush and this soft brown color and basically start applying it in circular motions on the outer part of my eye and then kind of feel for my brow bone and follow that upwards and blend that out in windshield wiper motions and just keep blending it and intensifying the color. Now I'm gonna apply this reddish brown color to the outer corner of my eye using a dome blending brush. This is basically just more dense at the tip and allows me to have more control in a small area and then brush that across my crease. Then go back in with a taper blending brush and just blend that out without adding any extra product. Now I'm gonna start defining the crease by applying this coffee brown shadow with a pencil brush onto the outer corner of my eye, creating a V shape and just using this to be really precise in the crease because I want it to be very defined to create a sunken look to make my eyes look bigger. And then I'm gonna take that dome brush that I applied the reddish shadow on and just blend that out so that there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going to pack on some more shadow and then blend that out with the dome once again so that there's no harsh lines and it blends very well into the crease but it is defined. Once I like how intense the outer corner is, I'm going to blend that out into the inner part of the crease all the way across and then use a dome brush to blend it out. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that first soft brown color and blend it out with a taper blending brush from Sigma. So now we're getting into the eyeshadow that inspired this look, this copper shimmer shadow. And I'm going to use the Morphe M208 brush. I love this brush because its bristles are very short and the tip is pointed. So it allows me to really get into the crease and it covers a large amount of space when you add a shadow onto the lid. And then I'm going to add some more of the coffee brown color to the outer lid, blend it out with a taper brush, and then add more shadow. I just want the look to be very blended and not lose any color that I had applied from the crease and the outer corner, nor the beautiful copper color. So I just kept blending and blending and adding more color until I felt that it was nice and blended and all the colors were apparent. Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna take this cream eyeshadow color and apply it with an elf blending brush and then blend it out with the Sigma Taper brush. Blend, 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 blend. Duh, this look would not be complete without a wing liner. I would feel naked without it, and of course, I'm gonna be using my NYC Liquid Liner. Holy grail, can never get away from it. But um, the struggle is so real, filming wing liner on camera. I have to usually do a little bit off camera, but as good as it gets. And then for this look, I'm going to be using the creme number 102 lashes. Once my falsies are on, I'm just going to go back and touch up my wing liner. For my waterline, I'm going to be using a black pencil from NYC and just lining my waterline. That's pretty much it. Nothing to it. And for under my eyes, I'm going to smoke it out with a reddish brown color and a pencil brush and drag the shadow from the inner corner to the outer corner of my wing. And then to define my lower lash line, I'm going to take a flat defining brush and that coffee color and just apply it on the lower lash line. And then just take that pencil brush and smoke it out and blend those two colors together. And then here I'm just applying a little bit of the copper color. Like I told you, the tip of that brush is pointed, so I just applied a little bit there. Had some trouble with it, then I got a pencil brush and applied more of that copper color on the inner corner. And lastly, I just got my mascara that I love and applied it to my bottom lashes. And lastly, but most importantly, we're gonna move on to our lips. I am using Italia Dusty Rose to line my lips and then I'm gonna fill it in and then fill in my lips with ColourPop Matte Lips in Chili Chill. 
So guys, this is the finished look. This look is very soft and subtle, but the copper is really bright. You can wear it during the day, which is, it's very soft, but it is dramatic and it does lure in your eye. And you can transition it to a nighttime look by maybe putting on a bolder lip. Um, you can also pair with something more nude, but I kind of did it in between like super bold and really, really nude um, with this lip from ColourPop Chilly Chill. So that was my inspiration for the look. Um, I kind of based it off this eyeshadow color it's like super super pigmented from the morphe 35o i thought it was so beautiful and like you could see how can you tell you could see like i just kind of like did a quick little swatch and how much color came out on there and i thought it was beautiful and i just kind of felt like it was really appropriate for like a transition color um from winter to spring even though it doesn't really feel like winter sometimes in la um i don't know just this color was like awesome so hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And anyone new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys loved what you guys saw. Thanks so much for watching. Until next week, bye.